a guy emotionally, how should I prepare myself for first time sex? Okay, great question because first time sex is never what you think it's going to be. So emotionally speaking, here are the two things that I really believe it's important to understand. The first thing is that you need to prepare yourself for the fact that penetration may or may not happen. See, we go into first time sex with such a mixture of excitement and nervousness that can play hell with your erection. But also, you know how you see in films, two people just gliding together, one moment they're kissing and the next moment they're just seamlessly having sex. Sex is never seamless. See, our sexual organs are placed in such a way that they cannot just glide together. Penetration always has to be negotiated. And so by the time you figured out how to adjust your body, where to place your legs, what angle to penetrate at and so on, let alone putting on your condom and putting on the loop, you can end up feeling so pressurized that chances are that, especially if this is your first time or even your second or your third time, that you may just lose your erection. And if you're not prepared for this to happen, it can be really distressing because now you're thinking, oh my God, something is wrong with me. I let my partner down, I've let myself down. And if this settles into your head, this will become a real problem for your sex life going forward. And so instead of trying to make this an epic night to remember, which unfortunately a lot of people emotionally gear themselves up to do, especially if it's their first time, focus instead on trying to make it really pleasurable. So lots of foreplay, kissing, cuddling and talking, and giggle together. You know, when things don't go according to plan, instead of getting all worked up and tense about it, laugh together, almost as though you're on an adventure together, because that always decreases the tension and just makes everything better. Trust me, this lack of erection, lack of penetration, it's not a permanent situation. So that's the first thing. Second is, and this is in a way even more difficult, you really need to understand carefully what both your expectations are. You see, a lot of people believe that their first time has to be with somebody that they're going to spend the rest of their life with. Whereas for other people, it's just a fun and casual thing. You really need to have had that chat already. Otherwise, the morning after can bring a lot of misery and a lot of problems. I hope that helps.